NPLRD Network y AIB Electromuebles presentan lo mejor del juego de ayer. Down on strike. Pablo with a good change up brings up his second K. The flow. Here from Pablo, his fourth strikeout of the afternoon, and they are two away. Field, and that ball is going to get down and one hop the wall. Bellinger plays the carom, but into second base with a leadoff double. Fly ball, deep right center. That stays back. He's got one. Profile to third, one away. High fly ball, deep left center. Profile's on one goal. Rogers strikes first. Pookie bets. I'm not even going to name that dance. Will Smith has given the Dodgers a lightning quick. One, two, three thirds. Good for bets. Here comes Trey Turner. Wide to center in his first at bat. Speed throughout this Dodger lineup. The guy at the plate in Turner, of course. So that ball is no way going to throw him out. Looper into left field for a base hit. Dodgers up 2-0. And Will Smith is driven in. Ball down the line at third. A fair ball into the left field corner. Juan Soto will score. Bell is being two. A ground out. And Josh Bell comes in from third. The Padres tie it up 2-2. Two to two. He'll get a base hit into right field. Here comes Drury. And the Padres take a 3-2 lead. Will Myers coming up with an RBI base hit to right. They erase a two-run deficit. Yeah, to left. Profile plays it in the back. Down the line. Hook into the corner. That one is gone. Three-run. Dodgers take the lead. Back dab in the middle of the Padre bullpen. And the Dodgers have three. Anytime you see Manny Machado misplay a ball. So the Dodgers are field. Profile on the move. Still going. And it's over his. Lux to second with a leadoff double. Second hit of the night for Gavin. 2-2 comes home to Taylor. He... The right center field. That's going to strip the gap. Hopping it, but the umpire said, no, 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 no. So with one out, here's Belt, the first baseman, hitting in the cleanup spot. No. So, could have been worse. Aller gives up one. He walks three. Half inning. That inning. He's just giving up those two hits with the 10 strikeouts. And let's see how he's going to do it. Carlos Rodon. Here. First pitch he sees, he rips one toward the gap. It's going to get down for a hit. It's going to go to the wall. Chad Pinder's going to have a one-out double here in the bottom of the first. And it brings up Sean Murphy. 3-2 on the ground here. It's Allen out toward right center field, and nobody's going to get to that one. One, two hops up against the wall. Wade into second. Leadoff double for Lamont Wade. Masella does his job, moves the runner from second to third. That's out number one. That'll... Line drive, right center field, base hit. Wade's going to come in to score. Jock Peterson comes through a two strike RBI single. Two nothing Giants. Is off the wall. Almost a home run. Crawford into second with an opposite field double. So that'll bring up Joey Bart. Bart. Hits one toward Loriano, who gets back into left center field. And he grabbed an inning and scored a run. There's a lot of room in foul ground. Brandon Bell, what a play! Back to the infield. As it dropped in, he made the one handed. Right here, he hit one right down the right field line that cleared the wall by 50, 60 feet. Mont trying to build some confidence. His batting average is hitting 180. That ball is hit well. Deep into right field. Adios! Center field. Loriano in a hurry. Looks up. Goodbye. High spin drive to the right of the 362 marker and way up into the stands out there. Joey Bart is feeling it right now. His second hit in a row. His seventh hit in his last. Line toward left. Slater's not going to get it. And that falls out of here. Sky bolt with a line shot over the wall to the left to make it seven to three. Now here comes that fastball was right there. And Altuve watched it go by. Weak bounce. No runs, no hits, one left. The Guardians are coming. Jimenez. And the guards get their leadoff man aboard to start tonight. A big lead off the of first. 2 0. And Up to right field. Rosario on his way to third. On the warning track, Tucker has it. Ahmed's coming around third. He'll go home and score easily as the throw went to second base. And it will drop for a base hit. Two will score. Shy of the wall in right field. And that'll do it for the Guardians here in the fourth. A one out single by Straw. That's it. We'll go to the fifth inning in Cleveland. It's the Guardians four. Puts a charge into this one. And that'll be 
off the wall. Myers will turn first, head for second. Small to end the inning. Strikeout number four for Quantrill. And after the leadoff double, he sets them down one. Big test for James Garinchak. He takes over in the eighth inning. Cleveland four, Houston nothing. On a knee, buckling curveball. Oh, what an inning for Garinchak. I'm saying an unsafe situation, but you're not taking any chances against Houston when you've got a chance to beat them. You bring out one of the best closers in the game. This one hit well to left. Benson on his horse, and he'll play that off the 19-foot high wall. Rosario. Book it. Guardians have defeated the Houston Astros. Just outstanding pitching, early runs, and some spectacular defense. You've got to play that kind of a game to beat this kind of a juggernaut. The final tonight, Cleveland 4 and Houston 1. Backing up is Winker. He'll have Sun to bat. Pitch. And that's an out. Joe Adell is there. Mickey Moniak. Plenty of room. And a 1 2 3. Excuse me. One single allowed. But Jaime Berea gets it done. As key possible flare option. Can Adell get a read? No, he hives that into right field. That's going to be an RBI single for Mickey Moniak. Strands two gives up a run. Angels have a one nothing. Five ball deep left field. Carry baby carry. Two to one. Chemical bag this. One away, one on. Two one Mariners fourth inning. Here is Mickey Moniak one for one with an RBI single to set. He one one on the way. Swing and a ball getting six strikeouts for Kirby. Strands two maintains the. That's a lazy fly ball for Mickey Moniak. So excellent fourth. Four. And the second in time. Drag him out, throw him out. And missed strike three, and Scherzer feeling that slider as used it to punch out. Went out to right field, Marte circles over. Puts it away, side retired. One, two, three for Scherzer. Now the other back. Max Fried making an historic start personally tonight. This is his 100th start as a big league pitcher. In front of Rosario, throwing the second Lindor and stopping there. So now Darren Ruff get 95. Max Fried has his first strikeout. And we head to a scorer. Third strikeout for Scherzer. Four up, four down for the Braves. And Eddie Rosario, the hitter. And he strikes him out with a fastball. 96 for Max. And Darno is on his way to second base. Adrianza will be the tying man at the plate. There goes Harris. Guillaume was going to throw the ball to first, but he saw he had a shot at Darno, and he made a perfect throw to the For the fastball on the inside corner, and that retires the side. Eight strikeouts and five brilliant hits. So the Mets win the challenge. Alonzo is safe at the plate, and it's 4 0 New York. Strikeouts for Max Scherzer. Fifth time this year he's reached. Double digits and 109 times now in his Scherzer winding his pitch. Struck him out. Max Scherzer strikes out the side of the seventh inning. Seven scoreless innings. The 11 strikeouts. Absolutely rock solid performance from Max Scherzer. Gets a curveball and lines it into left center for a base hit, and that'll chase home Escobar. Mets get an insurance run in the eighth inning. Fly ball hit to left. Naquin is there, and the ball game is over. The New York Mets have swept the day-night doubleheader from the Atlanta Braves, and in so doing, they guarantee that they will win this five-game series. Two of three, the Orioles and the Pirates. The sack makes the catch to end the inning. J.T. Brubaker, 28-year-old right-hander, born in Springfield. J.T. Brubaker. Odor swings, soft line drive, right center field, falling quickly, and line drive, base hit. That'll get him in. Just over Mercado, who leaped high but couldn't get there. RBI Jorge Mateo in a 2 0 Oreo lead. And now Brett Phillips. Full count. Hit well. Deep right center field. Way back. And this ball is off the wall. Mateo around third has the. RBI double for Brett Phillips. He just missed a home run. Come on now, Brett Phillips. That's the Brett Phillips of 2021 there. He had an outstanding season for the Rays. Drove in a lot of runs and a lot of home runs. Just a fastball sitting up in his own, and he gets all of this one out. Boy, rings him up. Hit to right down the line. That's going to be extra bases for Gamble. Hit high off them. Hit pretty well. Deep left field. Allen racing back on the track. 
won't get there. Hit hard down the left field line. That's a fair ball. Around third, Arias. He scores. Here comes Mateo. He's got the green light. He will score. Two runs driven in. The super sub, Ryan McKenna, with a super base hit to score two and extend the Into the gap. And it's going to short hop the wall. That's there. Fly ball. The tag from Ordur. Reynolds grabs it for three double play just what the rules and pitching continues to be the strength of the Orioles both gave up three in five plus innings and all of a sudden Aiken, and Crable Vespi and Dylan Tate come in and I mean slam the door on the pipe. that began in 1978 at Veterans Stadium fly ball he did it for the third straight night towering home run the longest one of the series for Reese Hoskins. And the Phillies take a 1 0 lead. Four hot in the left field line. That's got a chance. It is gone. And the Phillies are busting things open early in these games. It's a 4 0 ball game. Back toward the middle. Alec Bohm slams one the opposite way. That's going to go all the way to the scoreboard. And Bohm's on his way to second base, hustling. That ball's hit well. That's huge. Out to right field, and it's off the top of the wall. Bohm will score. That ball drops in for a hit. Castellanos drives in real Buto. And it's an RBI single for Castellanos. Yeah. To left center. And that's going to get past Schwarber into the wall. Another extra base hit for the Nats. One out. Well, this is a great ovation for Ranger Suarez, who goes five and a, a third innings tonight, and he'll leave right around 100 pitches. He's at 96. To left field and into the corner. Trace Barrera gets the job done with two strikes. Center field, Robles. He froze for a moment. Now he's going back. It's carrying out of the yard. Into the Phillies' bullpen. And the Phillies add to their lead. Manessis to left. This ball traveling off the top of the wall. Nelson Cruz to third. Manessis is going to take a wide turn and then go back. Phillies outfielders doing a great job of playing balls off of the wall in this series and keeping a couple net. Thomas to center. Tagging is Cruz. He'll come home standing up. And a sack fly for Lane Thomas gets the Nats. Good time and Wall of Fame night has come to a close. And the Phillies have taken the first three games of this series over the Nets. They win it today by a final score of 11 to 5. A 2 2. Swing and a miss. First strikeout of the night for Kopech. Well, I love your thoughts. Goes down looking on the hook that time. Third strikeout for Kopech. On Ezekiel Duran with a solo shot here in the third. His third home run this season. Well, there's been plenty of talk over the years on whether this is a pitcher's park or a hitter. Adolis Garcia will step into the bases loaded. And the pinch. Off of the turf, right off his bat. Gets away, and that is going to allow a run to score. Mabry's Valoria scores easily without a throw. Josh Smith goes down to second base, and the Rangers now lead it for about territory for out number three. Good work there by Foster to get around the leadoff single. Sox still hunting. Got him with the slider there. And so Jimenez out on strikes for a second time tonight. That is strikeout number five for Dean Dunning. Almost started on the inside part of the plate and swept across the strikes out. Six strikeouts for Dean Dunning through seven. Well, this one is a line, and that is going to get down and into the gap and potentially clear. It goes down on strikes. Uh oh, now we got a little scrap going on here at home plate. And Josh Smith and Yasmani Grandal seem to be exchanging words. It looks like maybe the backswing caught Yasmani Grandal. Yeah, but I, I guess if he's saying something to him, I don't know what kind of problem he has with Josh Smith. I mean, there's there's no intention there of hitting it somebody. 96 miles an hour ties up Jimenez. Fourth strikeout of the night for Taylor Hearn in his two innings worth of work. And the Rangers finish off the Chicago White Sox by a final of eight to nothing. First, Nick Lodolo, big tall left-hander, former first-round pick out of TCU. He's got the goods to be something special in Cincinnati. The Reds are super excited about Nick Lodolo, his stuff, his competitiveness. They just need towards right, backing up Aquino on the warning track, makes the catch. Brasso struck it third. Nice pick by Farmer out at third base is the call. DJ Rayburn, third base umpire. 
saying that Christian Yelich got Mora down the left field line, and the Reds are going to get on the scoreboard. A walk, a balk, and now a double, and it's one the line. McCutcheon does everything he can to try to cut it off, but Kino on second scores easily. Hit a right, back Renfro, still back. It's off the top of the wall. India digging for two. The throw from her. Barrero gives it a ride way back, and Cincinnati doubles their lead. It's 4 0. Jose Barrero. First big league home run for Barrero. Just a fastball center cut. Barrero knows it right away. Just an absolute collapse. And deep drive left center. Way back sends out. Warning track gone. 120 feet out to center field for his 11th of the season. Towards left, way back. Brewers are indeed right back in it. Just a one-run game on here is no out to left. Back McCutcheon, still back, warning track, leaping and gone. Barrero yeah, gets a ball pretty much right down the middle. Hits it out front, hits it up in the air. Ball just keeps carrying. Really nice. That's leading this ball game 5-3 as we begin the seventh inning of play. This one out towards left for Joey Votto. And Votto hits it out. His 11th home run of the season. Votto just loves hitting in this ballpark. Career home run number 22 in Milwaukee. This is what Joey Votto has done for a really long time in his Reds career. He gets a heater. 94 miles an hour. No swings. It's a high drive, deep left field. Back on it. McCutcheon looks up. It's gone. Donovan Solano bell left. Back Almora warning track, and that's the kind of night it has been for the Brewers. A lot of balls that come up just a little bit short. Making his 17th start this year. Yeah, you know Daniel Lynch is used to facing all right-handed lineups, so it's a little bit of a break for him to see two ten batters in there. Although they're pretty good hitters, <laughs> it is likely to fly here tonight. High humidity, big time heat, and wind. Tommy Pham is in the ground ball short. Bobby has it. And a nice tidy one, two, three inning for Daniel Lynch. Second base and he has double number 34. Toward the gap. Davis on his horse and dives. Oh, and oh my. <laughs> Bangs that one deep. Taylor got that great jump. And a big ballpark. Two solid contact off of Lynch. Michael A. Taylor, he wears the gold for a reason. Royal one for one, a base hit. Shot toward the gap. That's going to drop in for a base hit. Royal really, really cooking with the bat. Right. High fly, right center. Taylor, Go. that one looking up, looking up, and that ball is gone. I think favors him, and he catches it in. A two run shot. Wings and it's a high fly ball deep right field that is gone into the Royals bullpen and Kyle Isbell puts a Royal that's his first home run since June 29th strikeout with Junior now Salvador Perez down he goes on a knee that split has been his best friend tonight he gets over Nick Prado with the walk off beat to start the inning there was the mistake there was the good swing. There was a Rhinos victory. Why the Rays have a base runner? He's ready in the pitch. Here's a swing and a line drive into center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit to Isak Paredes. On home. The throw is air mill, but a good job by Garrett Hill to back up Eric Haas and keep the bases. Here's a swing and a fly ball deep left field. Back out at his Reyes, back to the wall, turns, and it is gone. Yu Chang with his first homer as a Ray, his second home run overall, and he's given the Rays a 1 0 lead. Who makes the catch over by the stands? The putout will go 3 9. <laughs> is that Lux Skipper? Is that Jim? And a fair ball up the left field line. This one is ripped into the left field corner. Harold Castro will dig for three. It's picked up by David Peralta. The court couldn't handle it. Aggressive base running gives the Tigers a 2-1. There's a shot into left field off the bat of Bethancourt. And that's going to get away from Reyes. Behind him and off the fence out there. Bethancourt in the second makes the... He popped it up. Baez calls for it. Two away. Nice job by Garrett Hill in this game. Five and two-thirds innings so far, just giving up the one run. Castro to left field. Go, go. And that's down. Candelario to third. Willie Castro try. Line drive, left field, deep down the line. And fair ball into the corner. Turns away from Peralta. Down the right field line off the bat of Cabrera. Fair ball. 
Fires in to score. 3075 is the Miggy counter on the hit side. He's lifted for a pinch runner. Listen to the hand for him. As he goes by ball, left field, deep, got a chance. Gone. Jonathan swinging a ground ball to third, fielded by Candelario. Easy toss to first. Tigers win. Castillo gets that final out. The Tigers against one of the best pitchers in all of baseball. Come from behind. Detroit Tigers nine and the Tampa Bay Rays one. And that's the lineup that Mitch White will handle tonight. White's 27 years old. Came over from the Dodgers right at the trade deadline. 10 games this season. 347 earned run average. 0 and 2. His last start came on July the 26th. He gave up two runs, six in. Guriel can jog. He's in the scoring position. High and deep to left field. Cave going back on the track near the wall. Jake has a play. Pulls it down. Guriel's going to tag. Try for If there's a line drive base hit to right, that won't be caught. That's going to find the grass and now find the wall. The shallow right field. Teoscar coming in and he makes the catch. Leon three or four hard steps down the line and then retreats. One down. But Leon scores, holding at second base to Rise. It's an RBI ground out for Byron, and the Twins. Rise holds his ground at second, and the batter was Jorge Polanco, who flied out to center his first time up. Twins by one, two down, and the pitch. Line drive into right field. That's going to land for a base hit. Rise around third. He will score. Polanco picks up that elusive 50th RBI. There's a clutch two out knock, two nothing Twins. Had gone 10 games. Swinging a line drive right up the middle of base hit. That'll skip through the alley into left center field where it's cut off in the fourth. Blue Jays are threatening for the third time. Swinging a long fly ball, deep left field, cave back at the wall. It is gone! And just like that, this game is tied. Bo Bichette with number 15. A game-tying two-run home run on the field corner, twisting away from Hernandez. He won't get there. Polanco delivers, a rise scores, and Polanco will hold up with an RBI double. Back-to-back -back clutch. Two-out RBI hits for hard toward the bullpen. Deep to the gap. Goal a home run. Miranda drives. The triple-digit velocity guy, Yohan Duran, who touched 103 a couple of times last night. And another break. Throws a breaking ball to Bobachet. Does him a favor. Bangs it right back through the middle. The one-two pitch. A swing and a miss. Strike three. A foul tip. And back on. And Duran strands a couple of runners. They do get one. The Blue Jays do on D. So the Twins remain two up on Cleveland. And the White Sox are now three games behind in the AL Central.